Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. As we continue our look at some figures from Wave 5 of this 6 inch Black Series line, we're going to take a look at Darth Vader's son in this next review. Um, that is of course Luke Skywalker. And this particular figure is based on Luke's appearance during that fateful final duel with Darth Vader at the end of Return of the Jedi. This is a really, really cool figure. Um, he's a little bit on the skinny side, but uh, that's not to say that it detracts from the figure or makes it any less worth the purchase. It's a fantastic figure and I'm really, really glad that I picked this one up. Um, I underestimated it a little bit, you know, I didn't initially plan on picking this one up, but uh, I thought, nah, I might as well complete the wave and I decided to grab this one. Sorry about that fly that just flew into the lens there, he got a little bit too close for comfort. I'm going to get you in a minute. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's Luke. And before we jump into the review, as always, we're going to take a look at the packaging he comes in. And here it is. Once again, we have this brand new look to the Black Series 6-inch packaging. We've got the blue highlights in the backdrop there. We've got a very open window style box. And once again, absolutely love the, uh, the Black Series packaging. I think it's very professional, very high-end, and gives a certain adult collector feel to these figures. As you can see in the bottom of the box, we do indeed have the Star Wars Black Series logo. Again, we've got those blue highlights in the background there, obviously meant to uh, reflect the Death Star lighting system. Got a decent image of Luke in the top of the card there. And on the back, we do indeed have the character's name, um, description of Luke, and of course a quote from the film. Just below that, we have a stylized image of Luke during that fateful battle with Darth Vader, with the Emperor looking on there. And one thing I forgot to mention in my last video was indeed the fact that the Disney logo is starting to appear on Star Wars products now. Um, this is apparent on the 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series figures. It's of course on the Rebels figures as well. So uh, I don't mind it too much, you know, it's nice to see that branding on there. And obviously that's going to be a big thing going forward when all the uh, Episode 7 and uh, Star Wars Rebels merchandise hits shelves. So there we go, that is the box for Luke. Now let's take a look at the figure that is concealed inside. And here he is. As I said, I really did underestimate this figure at first. Um, he wasn't on the top of my list, but uh, given the quality of previous Luke figures from the Black Series line, I just decided to give this one a go, and I'm really glad that I did. You know, he's a fantastic figure. He's nicely detailed, incredibly well sculpted, and really complements Darth Vader from this line really nicely. Um, first and foremost, the head sculpt on this guy is absolutely superb. Um, obviously, yeah, Luke is starting to age a little bit by this point in the saga, and that's evident in this head sculpt. It looks really, really cool. He's got dark hair going on. The eyes are a little bit big, uh, maybe a little bit Disney-fied, but uh, not too bad, you know. It's not enough to detract from the overall figure. Um, absolutely love that head sculpt. These are definitely getting better as the line goes on. Um, obviously this figure is based, of course, from the final scene in Return of the Jedi, so the uh, the jumpsuit that he's wearing does differ somewhat to the one he's seen wearing in Jabba's palace at the beginning of the movie. That's a much more traditional Jedi tunic, whereas this one is, uh, as I said, a kind of black jumpsuit. In terms of accessories, Luke comes with a fair few. Obviously he has the uh, trademark lightsaber, which is, of course, the new version that he's seen wielding in Return of the Jedi. Very nicely sculpted, however, one thing that I don't particularly like about this figure is the fact that Hasbro have gone back to using the really soft and bendy plastic on these hilts. Um, I hope that's focusing in on, on screen for you, but as you can see, very bendy, very flimsy, not really all that great. So really nice sculpt and there's some great paint applications on there but the quality of the plastic is just a little bit under par for me. As you can see on the hilt, we do indeed have the hook at the bottom, and you can indeed proceed to remove the blade and then hook the lightsaber hilt onto Luke's belt, which uh, has a hook on it just there, and you can proceed to clip that in place like so. As you can see, Luke also has the black-handed glove, and when he loses his hand in uh, The Empire Strikes Back. And one really cool feature about this figure 
is the fact that you can actually swap out the tunic. Now, as we all know, in Return of the Jedi, after Luke's battle with Darth Vader, his uh, jumpsuit becomes a little bit damaged and worn and torn, and that's a feature that Hasbro have integrated into this figure. You can actually pop off the front of Luke's torso, and you can replace it with the battle damaged tunic. Now, in my opinion, this looks a lot better. Really gives Luke that battle hardened look. And with lightsaber in hand, you know, this figure just looks really, really cool with that tunic in place. Awesome figure all round. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the review, he does feel a little bit skinny. Um, and when you compare him to figures such as uh, Darth Vader and Chewbacca that I'm going to give you a look at in my next review, you know, he does seem a little bit on the thin side. But that's not to say that this isn't a cool figure, you know, Luke isn't the uh, the most built uh, character in the Star Wars saga, you know, he's not particularly muscle bound, he's not a, a He-Man type character, so uh, that's not too much of an issue. And again, it doesn't detract from um, any aspects of the figure, so that's never a bad thing. Articulation on this guy is fantastic, it's what we've come to expect from the Black Series line. He does of course have a ball jointed and a hinged neck, so he can look up, down and side to side. He has hinged shoulders and elbows, hinged wrists, a ball jointed torso, hinged hips, so he can do the splits and you can get him in some of those awesome Jedi poses. He has swivel thighs, double joints in the knees and double joints and a pivot in the ankle. So all round, fantastic articulation, great accessories and just an overall fantastic figure. The detail on this guy is awesome, the head sculpt is fantastic, and I love the accessories that he comes with as well. So Hasbro really did go as all out as they can with this figure, and I'm really, really happy that I picked it up. Um, once again, if you haven't got this guy already, be sure to head to the video description where you'll find a link to staractionfigures.co.uk, where at the time of shooting this video, you can pre-order this figure, and uh, hopefully he'll be in your hands very, very soon. There we go, Luke Skywalker from the 6 inch Black Series line. Really hope you've enjoyed having a look at this figure, and in my next review, we'll be taking a look at old Fuzzball himself, Chewbacca. So, in the meantime, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video, and until my next one, as always, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.